Welcome to our first edition of the Weekly Geekly, which is our week in geek. I am Tef. And I am Sidar. And today we're what we're going to do is we're just going to give a summary of all the cool geeky things that we've been into over the last week. That's which right. you'd be surprised how much we can get into. <laughs> yep. And we are a pretty busy family. We have five kids at home. Yes. So we have just done recent videos of, of the books that we're doing. We're currently um, listening to the First Law series by right. Joe Abercrombie. Mm -hmm. Only the first three books. Right. We're trying not to get overextended. We're going to be getting into Brandon Sanderson's Secret Book series coming out starting sometime January. early in 2023. I think yeah. January's first book. Yeah. Next thing is a TV series. We had recently finished a new season of something on Amazon called The Boys. Oh, yes, The Boys. Talk about <laughs> a crazy series. This series features, I mean, it's really like the DC universe but... of, of the people that actually have powers. Because, you know, in DC, very few people that are Earthlings actually have superpowers. A All lot people of have superpowers are aliens. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. The Flash is one of the few exceptions. But yeah, there's a speedster on there, there's a Superman on there. And, uh, you know, if you've watched this series... They're all similar to all the normal yeah. characters you would expect. Except There's even an Aquaman. They're, they're extremely realistic. Like, what yes. they would be like if Everybody the real world has issues up here. Every like, it's single all a one. little bit... Well, what it is is they're just really real people yes. that happen to have superpowers. So, the world has this assumption that if you're Superman or anybody, you or somebody that is a superpower person, you have to have this integrity to be the best person possible and always do the right things. But they forget that humans are not always like that. And so just because you had superpowers would not automatically make you right. a, a good person necessarily or a person that made good choices yes. all the time. Imagine Superman with no weakness to kryptonite right. going Ugh. half insane. And we're not going to give any spoilers on this show. This show that if, if you have access to Amazon, definitely watch. Especially, yeah. it's a darker side of superheroes. It is. Definitely Very give it a good rating. Though. Very yes. entertaining. Uh, we rewatched re season two just to, because we started watching season three in the first episode. We we're like, what? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's so go back and watch season two. We went two back. Over. And yeah. so we're, no, we're not going to talk much more about that because that's yep. something that you really need to watch through to, to learn about. But. <laughs> To go back, uh, we were talking about the the boys. Oh, the boys! But we have we are two episodes into House of the Dragon. Ah, that is true. So we have started House. Of we the have Dragon. started House of the Dragon. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal episode. I love how even the very beginning opening scene still uses the Game of Thrones and intro music. On on set uh, episode two, because in episode one it was like that. It just old doesn't start do it. Yeah, it just, like goes right into it. Which I liked episode one. Um, I find myself liking the two young girls, um, Alicent and Rhaenyra. Maybe is that how you say it? I think. But yeah. um, I like them. They're, or Rhaenyras. She's it's not. There's no S. It's just like Rhaenyra, and yeah, she's Rhaenyra. very very bold. She's very um, smart, very capable. I like her. So we're only two episodes into that, and yeah, yep. we don't want to give any spoilers. If we want to have a spoiler discussion, we'll have a, a, a an episode, episode only for going for that. Yep. That way, we'll let you know full spoilers. Absolutely. In our house, music is almost always playing. Absolutely. And we'll get on a kick where, you know, especially Side I recently heard heard one song from <laughs> a, a band she'd never heard from from Scotland and has been I'm totally Viva. addicted. Yes. Yeah, on Vivo. And if you've never, I know you've probably seen Vivo on YouTube. It's like almost every music video you see, if somebody you've heard of has Vivo on yeah. it. But if you go on Roku, I'm sure Amazon any Fire kind of Stick, streaming, probably, yeah. any of the streamings or something, you know, Vivo has an app and it's MTV the way it was with no shows. It was 100% music. music videos. Yeah. So we're not trying to do a plug for Vivo, but we have found a lot of great we new music we've never really, heard of before. A lot of really good stuff there. We really have because yes. they'll just play a random video and we'll be like, "Wow, this is awesome!" You and can filter from decades back to the like '50s and '60s. So, like I said, we're not trying to plug them. It's just if you're looking for ways to find new music you haven't heard, you know, Spotify's a way, YouTube's a way. Well, Vivo's also a way. And that's how we found this band that, sh that Cider is currently totally addicted to. <laughs> and I probably can't say it right. And probably I believe it is Vakovi. It is a Scottish rock band. They are they sound post-hardcore to me. They're very um, upbeat, rocking music, but also yes. very beautiful, clean vocals of a female. 
Um, and they are Scottish, and you, but you can't tell, of course, because she's singing. It's beautiful. It's it's very energetic. It's fun. I love it. And when we saw the song "I Exist" on Vivo, I think within the first bar, I was absolutely hooked. Just hooked, and then I just had to see more. Yes. <laughs> I just had to keep hearing it and keep watching more. So I love them. I absolutely do. Yes. For me, if I was going to go right now, go to any of the streaming music sites without saying their name for free plugs. <laughs> and I put it in. Right now, I probably let's put in a day to remember. Uh, what's the name of this? Song? Miracle. Miracle. Yeah. That's just one that's in my head right now. Yeah. Great breakdown. Love the song. It's not the newest song, but uh, last week I had Tina Turner in my head, so it's pretty <laughs> random for me. Oh. You, you'd be surprised at stuff I end up hearing being heard whistling around the house or at work. I've had Blackpink in my head a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes, Blackpink. Um, <laughs> That was something that kind head. of blindsided us. And... It did. It did blindside us. We did not know what to expect. It just came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And it's actually so entertaining. I really like we it. We have done a couple of reactions on their songs. And yep. you can see those right here. That's a link to one. <laughs> All right. So what do we got next? Anime. Ah. Now, usually... When we watch, we go between, we'll watch a couple seasons of shows, since seasons right now are like maybe 8 to 12 episodes. Right. And then Not we'll, with anime always. But anime, sometimes it can be longer. Right. So we'll watch like two or three different seasons of, of a couple shows, and then we'll tackle an anime. That's right. And the last anime that we have tackled was Hunter x Hunter. That's right. Oh, that was great. And to me, it may make my top five. I'm not sure. <laughs> Funny story about that. When we first started watching Hunter x Hunter, I remember Tef saying, ah, it's okay, it's pretty good, it's probably not going to make my top five. And and then as it kept going, it was like it keeps building and building to the point that you absolutely love the two main characters. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of this, though, if you have a top five, everybody in the comments section below, put your top five anime. Yeah. And if you don't need to, you know, sometimes it's hard to choose a couple and just put the top five in no particular order. Right, right. So we ended up absolutely changing our mind by the by the time we got to the end of it. It's like, oh, this might actually be in my top five. It's really good, and the characters are really awesome. But I have to say, my favorite bromance in all of anime is in Hunter x Hunter. Are you you're saying Black Cover doesn't have it for you? Between mm -hmm. Asta and you know, come there's, on. Theirs isn't the same. See, Black Clover is in my top five. Yes, I know, and I get that because I love Black Clover, but... It, the bromance isn't the same because they're always kind of a little bit jerky with each other. Well, Whereas... they're in competition, but that's part of the bromance. They grew up together. Yeah. That's part of it. Yeah. The only reason you know <laughs> doing it is because he wants to do it because his best friend in the entire world's doing it. I know, I know, I know. I still like the bromance better in Hunter x Hunter. Okay. So this is about Black Clover. <laughs> but we have watched Anyways, Hunter x Hunter. We finished it all 100 crazy. plus freaking episodes. There was Huge. a lot more than that, huh? Like 150 yeah. maybe? So, more. great, great know, anime. Great if you one. have not seen it, know that it is a time investment. It and is. to me, it's a little bit of a slow start, but once it gets going, mm -hmm. especially once you get to the ants. Once you get to the ants, it just blows <laughs> up. Yeah. And without Chimera giving any spoilers, ants. just know that's all we're going to tell you. It's called Chimera Ants. And if, it. if you go with the mythology of Roman or Greek mythology, what Chimera is, I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> oh, one of the things we also want to talk about is cooking. Oh, now, yes. we, we do have some episodes on our channel called The Boring Cooking Show. Right. And m almost everyone, there's some episodes that are funny, like spaghetti. Spaghetti. And we have a really good one coming for you. We haven't <laughs> filmed it yet, but it's going to be funny, and it's also in sarcasm. And please watch it. It's not going to take more than a couple minutes. Yeah, maybe a minute total. But okay, a couple but minutes. <laughs> we, we like to go through cookbooks. Like, we'll go to yard sales or yes. options. We'll oh, get yes. these old cookbooks. That and is a gem. The problem with cookbooks is when you look through it, you're lucky if you can get five five good recipes that for you or your family out of that cookbook. So we've been going through them, and we've been putting the recipes that we find in these cookbooks. We make them, and we make these episodes out of them. So you can go to our, right. our we call it the Boring Cooking Show. So you can find a lot of those episodes there. But this last Sunday, yeah. we had found this one recipe that was called Sweet and Tangy Meatballs. Oh, and yeah, I have never made good. anything with a sweet and sour sauce. I don't like to mix my sweet. And pineapple. And, yes. Mm. I don't like to mix sweet and savory usually because cinnamon ruins it. Yes, and it had, we made it with chicken meatballs, uh, some sweet orange pepper, 
the sauce had some vinegar in it, some brown sugar, some cornstarch for Oh, it's really good. It was and so good. Overripe. It was great. And we put made some rice and there wasn't anything left over. Nope. We, we Even have with five children in kids. this family that two of them are super picky. Very picky. Nothing left. Yep. So we will put the link to that episode once we get it uploaded so you can go and check out that recipe. It's great. It was okay. able to feed our family of seven. That's right. And it really didn't cost that much. All right, so thank you for watching our first episode yeah. of The Weekend Geek or The Weekly Geekly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tev. I am Sidar. Until and next please, time. Please like and subscribe, and please leave a comment below of other things you would like us to check out. <laughs>